in this video, we are going to examine common logarithms and how to use them to solve exponential equations. So let's first work with common logs. I touched on this concept briefly in the previous video. If you have log base 10 of x, you don't write the base 10. Our logarithms that we use are base 10. And the reason why base 10 is that's our number system. And so we don't show a base 10 just like we don't show a coefficient of 1 with variables. So if I have log base 10 of x, I just write it as log x. You have to know this is a base 10. What we need to do to apply this is determine some, I would say, shortcuts, some values we need to know. If I have log of 10, what is that equivalent to? Well, if I have log of 10, remember that really means you have log base 10 of 10. And that's going to be equal to some value, let's call it p. If we convert this to exponent form, 10 to the p power equals 10. So 10 to what power is 10? Well, that would be 1. So what does this tell us? This tells us that if we have log of 10, it's actually equivalent to 1. We can cancel it out and write down the number 1 in its place. So how can we use that concept to find log of 10 to the n power? Same idea. Let's look at converting to exponent form. If I have log base 10 of 10 to the n power, what I'm going to do is bring this power down and make it the coefficient. So I have n times log base 10 of 10, which we've learned log base 10 of 10 is 1. And so this cancels and becomes the number 1. And so I have n times 1, which is just n. And so this allows me to see some simplifying that we can do in the future. If I have log of 10, I can just cross it out and write the number 1. If I have log of 10 to the n, I can cross it out and just write n. What we're going to do now is we're going to look at what do, does base 10 logarithms mean? What does a logarithm mean if I use my calculator? And so if I want to use the calculator to find the, these approximate values, I'm going to take log of 64.7. I'm going to plug that in my calculator. I'm going to get its value. I'm going to take log of 900.4. I'm going to plug that in my calculator and get its value. And the same thing with 0 0.0035. I'm going to take log of that value with my calculator. So these are the values I want in my calculator. I want log of 64.7. I'm going to also do my log of 900.4, and I'm going to do my log of 0 0.0035. All at once, get all those values in my calculator, and then I'll write them down. And so, if I want to round to the nearest thousands, I need to look at the fourth decimal place to see do I round the third one up. I have 1.8109, which will be rounded to 1.811. I have 2.9544, which we left alone as 2.954. And I have negative 2.4559 which we rounded to negative 2.456. And so we found the values if we take the log of those numbers. So the question I'm asking now is what do these values represent? What does 1.811 mean if we take the log of 64.7? What does 2.954 mean? And so on. What they mean is you are actually finding the numbers written as 10 to a power. You are finding the values of those numbers. You are writing them in 10 to a power. What this means is if I have 
64.7 is actually equivalent to 10 to the 1.811 power. 900.4 is equivalent to 10 to the 2.954 power. 0 0.0035 is equivalent to 10 to the negative 2.456 power. You are finding how that number is written as 10 to a power is what you're doing. And so that is our common logarithms, our base 10 logarithms. When you are plugging in log of a number, you need to know what does that answer. When you hit enter in your calculator, what does that value mean? It means that is 10 to the power to get that number. Let's look at a couple other concepts. If I have log of 1.2 is equivalent to 0 0.0792, I want to find the values of the following without a calculator. And so this is tricky. What this means is we need to find a way to write 120 using 1 1.2. Well, what do I notice right away? I have a 1.2, I have 120. So how do I make them in a way equivalent? How do I make them so you can write one as the other? Well, if I take a look, 120 is 1 1.2, where that decimal place is moved two places to the right. Well, moving the decimal place two places to the right is multiplying by 100. So really, I have log of 100 times 1.2. Well, what is that? I am multiplying it, the values in my logs. I'm multiplying what I'm taking the log of. That means you're applying your product of logs, which means you are adding your log. So I can break this apart into log of 100 plus log of 1.2. Well, what's log of 100? 100 is 10 squared. And remember, if you have your exponent, it can come out front. You have twice log base 10 of 10 plus log of 1.2. We learn log of 10 is just 1, so we can just cross it out, replace it with the number 1. So really, I have 2 times 1, which is 2, plus log of 1.2, which we are told in the problem to use 0 0.0792. So without a calculator, I get 2.0792. For my value. It's the same thing here. If I want log of 0.12 and I'm given log of 1.2, how does this number relate to that number? Well, if I have 1.2, 0.12 is if this decimal place is moved one spot to the left, which means you're doing division. So I'm taking log of 1.2 and I'm dividing by 10. So we're dividing our expression which means we are subtracting. So what we do is we do log of 1.2 minus log of 10. Log of 1.2 is 0 0.0792 and log of 10 is really 1. So 0 0.0792 minus 1 is negative 0 0.9208. And so that is our value. So in this video, we looked at common logarithms and how to use them to find the values with and without a calculator.